This is the bizarre moment a woman seemingly ranted about an imaginary passenger and demanded she be let off the plane. But I am telling you right now, that mother f that mother f back there is not real. And you can sit on this plane and you can f die with them or not. I'm not going to. Uh. She was escorted off the flight and back through security at the airport in Texas. The person who uploaded the video said she was not arrested. Some viewers compared it to the 2000 film Final Destination, in which a teenager has a premonition of a disastrous plane explosion. But despite allegedly causing a three hour delay, the woman's warning did not seem to predict any real issue with the flight. Hello my friends, this is alien contactee Lenal Anderson here with you guys with a brand new YouTube bit shoot video. And as you see, by the clip at the beginning, I'm sure everybody's seen it by now, I'm going to be addressing, or should I say debunking, that whole clip about that lady freaking out, he's not real, he's not real. Well, we got a lot of disinformation going around out there uh, claiming that it was a shape-shifting reptilian on the plane that she's talking about, even though there's zero evidence to, to this claim. And actually all the evidence people are sharing can easily be debunked and I'm going to debunk it in this video and don't get me wrong I'm the alien contactee uh, I've researched this topic and have had my own experiences for many years so I'm a full believer in shape-shifting reptilians I know for a fact they exist but there's also a lot of disinformation out there and a lot of people laugh at people who sp speak on these topics and one of the reasons they laugh at us is because of the disinformation such as this going around so we got to set the record straight and then I'm going to tell you what actually happened on the plane and then I'm going to give point you in the right direction to get real information on reptilians and what's really going on so let's just get right into it my friends make sure you subscribe hit that like button and uh, let's get right into it okay so all this talk about, oh, it was a reptilian, this and that, is all coming from this conspiracy rumor of the guy in the green hoodie. Oh, there's a guy in the green hoodie, and all these people on TikTok are claiming I was on the plane, and this guy in a green hoodie uh, looked at me, and his, his eyes went like that and all that. Oh, they, they winked at me, but vertical. And he looked back at me, and he winked at me. And again, I didn't quite register it i was like okay i was like maybe he's just being like an ass like winking like that was weird wasn't it but now that i look back i realized that when he winked at me and it was his left eye looking back at me it didn't wink like this it winked like this and i did and now you got multiple people uploading and people are saying this is the evidence and then oh there's a footage going around of the guy in the green hoodie oh this is the plane the guy in the green hoodie okay only problem with that, my friends, the guy in the green hoodie, that video was from 2022. Take a look at this uh, con uh, footage here. All right, unfortunately, I have to debunk this video real quick. So the video of the flight attendants taking the luggage down, that's a separate video from the woman freaking out the other day about seeing a passenger that was not real. Those are two separate videos, and I can prove it right here. Uh, one of them was uploaded in uh, June of 2022. I think it was 6 24 2022, and the other one was uh, uploaded a few days ago. Now, the one thing that everyone's focusing in on is the guy in the green hoodie uh, saying that his eyes, like, you know, they uh, blink like that. Uh, which whether they do or do not, um, I'm just pointing out the fact that these are separate videos. Posted in 2022, this girl has blonde highlights with the green hoodie guy. This girl does not have blonde highlights. She has dark hair. These headrests are red all the way around. The headrests with the green hoodie guy are not. He was not on the plane with her. There you go, my friends. You could even go to that person's YouTube channel there with the red circle around it and you could look at it for yourself. Uh, this video was from 2022, last year, okay? Long before this whole incident happened. And you could see the other uh, video showing it was a completely different plane, different seats. So there you go. That uh, rumor, oh, the guy in the green hoodie, bull crap, okay? 
And how about the other guy saying, oh, well, I saw a guy in a hoodie. I saw the guy in a hoodie and his the vertical wink. Well, let's see the guy who started that video, which his video got over 20 million views, okay? Well, guess what, my friends? In that very same video where he told his story, if all you would have done was read the caption, the caption underneath it, he says, this is not real. Take a look. There you go. That was an image still of that video where he claims that all that crap it says right there, this is an experiment to see how gullible you people are. And then he released another video explaining it was a social experiment. Take a look. Well, my friend, apparently nobody reads captions anymore. I am, my mind is blown how much this video blew up. Even with right in the description, I said exactly what I was doing but people still decided to turn the blind eye, which is part of what this social experiment was all about, shining a light on something that I think is one of the biggest problems we're facing right now, which is willful blindness. Willingly turning the blind eye, even when all the signs are right in front of your face and in the description, simply because you wish it to be true, right? Pete, you don't know who you can trust on TikTok. You can't take anything at face value, yet everyone does. And all these stories get put out. And no one just goes back to the source to do two seconds of research. There you go. And then of course we had copycat people after that video was released. Uh, many people, they saw how viral this went, how many views they're getting on their TikToks. So many people started making videos saying, oh, I was on the plane and the guy in the hoodie winked at me, even though there's no factual evidence of any man on a hoodie, because that video was from 2022. So it's all crap. All people trying to get views, trying to get likes, because it went viral, okay? That's all it was. So what did this lady see? What is she talking about? He's not real. What is she talking about, okay? We're gonna get into what actually happened now. So all we saw was a one minute clip of a lady freaking out. All she said, he's not real. She never said anything about a shape-shifting reptilian. She never said anything about a ghost or anything. All you we have is a one minute cl clip of a lady losing her mind, freaking out, saying he's not real, okay? Which could be anything, okay? It could be anything. Does, do we know exactly what happened here? Well, there are a couple credible witnesses who were involved, who stories have checked out, who have been on the plane, okay, my friends? And I'm gonna show you. The first one, uh, is this lady here who claims there was some dispute uh, that happened while on the plane uh, between her and an African-American man over earpods, airpods, you know, the earphones. So I'm going to show you. You could take a look. Okay, so for everybody who has seen the viral video of the crazy lady that got kicked off the American Airlines flight yesterday going from DFW to Orlando, um, I just kind of wanted to clear up some things because there's a lot of people that have a lot of questions. Um, so we all boarded the plane. We were, we were on time. Everything was going fine. There was no issues. Um, this woman boarded the plane. Um, we actually took off, like we left the, um, the terminal and we were pulling out onto the runway, fixing to take off. And all of a sudden, um, so this lady had been drinking prior to getting on the plane, evidently. Um, some people said they seen her at the bar next to the terminal. Anyway, so she um, was sitting in her seat, and I, I guess she had a pair of uh, AirPods, and um, they said she had them in her hand, and then within seconds, we don't know if she pocketed them or where she put them. She misplaced them somehow, and she started uh, yelling at the guy next to her, um, who of course is African American and, um, uh, saying that he stole her AirPods. And so she started screaming, stop the plane, stop the plane. Um, uh, I went off the plane and, um, and so the plane turned around. Um, we hadn't left the ground yet. Anyways, the plane turned around, went back to the terminal. They, um, uh, that's when that video was shot, was on the way back to the terminal. Um, the she was you know screaming that we were all gonna die um i can't say i didn't question once or twice whether or not i wanted to even stay on the plane but um 
they ended up have, esc- escorting her off of the plane. Um, then about, they, we waited on the plane probably about 45 minutes and then they wanted us to get off the plane and we had to take all of our stuff off of the plane because of all the comments that this woman was making about us dying. And so, um, uh, we all got off the plane and, um, they had not arrested her at this, at this point because, um, while we're sitting there waiting for them to sweep the plane, make sure that there's nothing wrong with the plane. They also had to take off all of the luggage from underneath the plane, go through it, um, take the ladies luggage off while all this is going on. Um, this lady actually came back walking towards the terminal, like she was still going to get on the plane and a lady was blocking her way from going over there and then another guy came and um uh they got her and they led her away and then they announced that um of course everybody was clapping and cheering that she did not (laughs) get let back over there and then um uh they let the (coughs) um i guess the three flight attendants that were originally on the plane that were dealing with this lady They said due to the circumstances that they had to get off the plane and so they had to have three more flight attendants come in which so we ended up delayed about four hours coming into orlando but um oh and i've heard a lot of questions people wondering who she was saying didn't exist the person she was saying did not exist was the flight attendant who originally was dealing with the complaint whenever she started yelling and screaming about the guy supposedly stealing her supposedly stealing her airpods So there's a story. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. That's right. So it seems this lady, uh, multiple people have said they saw her drinking before she got on the plane. So she was intoxicated. And a lot of people say, I watched that video. She wasn't drunk. I could tell. I saw she was seriously scared. She wasn't drinking. She wasn't. You don't know nothing. It was a one minute clip. A lot of people, especially alcoholics, they could drink 10, 15 drinks and you can't tell that they're intoxicated because they have a high tolerance but it still makes them go loopy in the head or how about this maybe she's on drugs maybe she's on prescription pills that make you go crazy and hallucinate okay the lady was obviously hysterical yes and she obviously got in a confrontation with somebody now another person could back this up and this is one part of this story that may be a little fishy to people but a famous person was on that flight and that is the comedian Carrot Top, okay? Uh, take a look. Um, yeah, I give uh, my hats off to everyone at American Airlines uh, today for ha- how they handled the situation. That f- nut job just lost your mind in front of the whole plane. And uh, five hours later, uh, we're here in Orlando. And uh, I hope you're having a uh, relaxing evening behind bars in Dallas, Texas, and uh, hope you enjoyed your little stunt. We got us off the plane. We used the fireworks, that's about all we missed. Okay. Well, to be fair, we don't know what this woman had going on. She might have um, just been having some sort of a, a condition that she's suffering. Uh, but to your point, you know, I wanted to say this about something like that to men I've dated in the past. That's right, there you go. Uh, He's talking about it, and also you saw there he was on Fox News talking about it. And there's also another interview where he also backs up that this is over the ear pods. Okay? And then she got in this big argument. So yeah, you gotta say, why was Carrot Top there? Uh, Is it possible that this was just a a psychological operation or something for... uh, publicity or something like that, maybe to push the whole uh, agenda of uh, shape-shifting reptilians or something just to get people scared of aliens, people want to say that. I don't, if that was the case, you'd think Carrot Top would have been pushing that theory, but he's clearly stating that she was just crazy, and he even stated it was over the earbuds. All right, so it does appear that this was a dispute. Now, now like I said, it could be part of a, it could be a distraction part of the agenda. I don't know really what it is, or it could have just That's what happened. But it appears she got in an argument with an African-American gentleman. And then uh, she started losing her mind. It seemed like she was talking about the flight attendant. And I think it's possible that she's saying the flight attendant isn't real. As in they're not a real flight attendant or something to do with terrorism, I'm thinking. 
Maybe she was, because then after she says, you're all going to die, right? She claims that everybody's going to die. Maybe she's stating something to do with the black guy, the African-American, and the flight attendants, maybe they're in cahoots and they're going to do something to the plane or something. She is obviously not in her right mind, worked up because she's getting in arguments over people, losing her mind over ear pods, and it seems that, that is what she was talking about. Nothing to do with shape-shifting reptilians. You got zero evidence. All you got is TikTok nonsense with that. That's all been debunked. Okay? That is what happened, my friends. So all the details we don't have because there's been no official uh, statements released. Uh, but it does appear that that's what happened. It had nothing to do with anything supernatural. So I needed to clear that up because a lot of prominent people out there uh, such as Alex Jones, and you know, love Alex Jones. Uh, he's done a lot of good work over the years, but one thing that Alex Jones has done lots is he's jumped the gun on a lot of things, a lot of things that have been proven to be debunked. And he was on that bandwagon. When this first happened, Alex Jones is posting videos of, videos of the guy in the green hoodie and saying, oh, it's reptilians and all that, uh, when it's easily debunked. And thank goodness Greg Reese at InfoWars, who works with them, did a video a couple days after that debunking it and showing it was from 2022. But a lot of people out there uh, not doing any research because it'd take you five minutes of research to figure out that this is easy, easily debunkable. All you'd have to do with that one guy was just read the caption where he says this is a social experiment. Uh, easily debunkable. So it, it's a shame because this is why people laugh at people who speak about reptilians. Because a lot of people who speak about it are guilty of spreading false information that could be debunkable. And then people see that you've shared that and they say, I'm not gonna listen to anything you say. And you know what? Hey, I've been guilty of doing these things in the past. I'm not perfect either. In the past, I've shared stuff without looking into it and making videos on it. Later, I had to take the videos down and it was embarrassing for me. Oh yeah, and another topic, a lot of people say, she's missing, nobody's heard from her since. Well, yeah, obviously nobody's heard from her since. If she was drinking, she made a big scene, now she went viral, millions of people laughing at her, making fun of her. You think she wants to go out there just to make a video saying, uh, yeah, it had nothing to do with reptilians, I just got mad and lost my mind on some African-American? No, she's probably embarrassed. It's probably the worst day of her life now, worst days of her life. She's probably the laughing stock. Why is she gonna come out? See, people think they know everything, they know nothing. It's, it's really sad. It's really sad. So, with that being said, reptilians, let's get into that whole topic. They are real, absolutely. Uh, we're in a reptilian created matrix. Uh, they're all around us. Even we ourselves have reptilian DNA. I'm gonna be doing a video about that in the near future, so make sure you subscribe. And yes, it's true. Uh, there's energetic shifts going on on the planet. And uh, and uh, the veil is being lifted, you can say. And people have been seeing a lot of strange things, a lot of paranormal, supernatural activity. And yes, some people have seen people shapeshift in front of their eyes. And I do believe in the coming years, more and more people are gonna start seeing this. Uh, as the Ascension event continues, as people continue to open their third eye, and be awakened from the activations coming in through the sun, I do believe there's gonna be real events happening. And this is not a laughing matter at all. And it is all very, very real, my friends. But with that being said, there's a lot of disinformation out there and a lot of uh, so the, the powers that be know that this is gonna happen. So that's very possible that this whole situation was something to uh, put some disinformation out there to make people who are having real experiences seem crazy so people will not take people who've done the actual research and actual experiences not to take us seriously. They'll, they'll always think of this, be like, oh yeah, like the lady on the plane that's already been debunked, you know, it's to discredit the real truth. So it is possible that that's what happened with that situation. That's why it was allowed to go viral with millions and millions and it's on Fox News. It's very possible that it's all part of their agenda to discredit the truth. So I'm very open to that possibility, my friends. So all those things is possible. If you guys want some real, actual uh, research to do on reptilians, some people hate them, some people love them. I'm one of the guys who loves them, and that's David Icke.
He's covered this for over 30 years, my friends. He has a lot of great books that I could recommend, such as The Biggest Secret. And uh, Children of the Matrix. That's right, those books, but pretty much all of his books have a section on reptilians where he goes deep into detail. He's been researching it for 30 years into ancient history and, and people he's spoken to, real whistleblowers about the reptilian phenomenon. So if you want real information, you could look into stuff like that. But don't use TikTok as your source of information about this. It's really not good. Please, my friends, do real research. That's why I waited over a week to do a video on this because I wasn't going to Oh, it went, no, I, I just want to get views, so I'm going to make a video as soon as it happens and start talking. And, and, no, I waited a week to see what all came out so I could look at different parts of evidence. I did research before I made this video, and that's what everybody should do. And I, and I know it's tempting to get the views and the likes and all that. That's why a lot of people went out there and made videos saying, oh, I was on the plane and all that. Yeah, because they got tons. Look at that one guy got 20 million views. 20 million views on that video where he talked about that. People are making money off it, right? So it's tempting, yeah, but you know, gotta put out the real information out there at the same day too. So just had to make that video because a lot of my fans and a lot of people have been uh, asking me about that and wondering what's going on. And of course my Facebook uh, feed was filled with uh, everyday people talking about it. So I wanted to set the record straight and I hope this video was able to help point some people to the truth of what actually happened and now we could forget about this distraction because that's what it is at the end of the day and move on to real news like how they're uh, trying to introduce a CBDC which I'll be doing a video on that next week and uh, how the NWO agenda is in full swing. We got to stand up and we got to say no to the NWO and we got to raise our vibrations and uh, win this fight for humanity my friends. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed my content, please visit me on Patreon. The link is on in the description. Exclusive content there. You don't get anywhere else. I've got the Ascend to 5D class, Occult class, Health class. Any support means the world to me. I'm on Buy Me a Coffee as well. All the links are down below. Thank you so much for uh, watching, my friends. Hope you've subscribed by now. Until next time, Old Lionel signing off.